G'day football fans and welcome back to episode 19 of our Wolves career mode here on Dylan on the Ball. Today we will be taking on Arsenal Football Club in the Premier League. We did play them the twice last year and both times it was an absolute humdinger of a game. Alex Lacazette was prime Lionel Messi and the pace and, and uh, agility and dribbling skills of, of Martinelli, Saka, that sort of group of players was just always too much for us. So hopefully you put up a better bit of a showing today but... At the end of the day, who knows what what Wolves side will turn up, as you'll uh, as you'll see in these highlights. We've got just the two games to get through. First one being against Aston Villa. So we got the scoring underway. It was Michael Elise making a good darting run there, played in by Pedro Neto, who had cut back after he was isolated against their left back Matty Target. Uh, Elise just sort of firing in a finish past Emmy Martinez there at the near post. Yeah, Keeper probably should be doing better there, I'd say, but we'll take the 1-0 lead. Not too long after that, El Ghazi made it 1-all with an absolute peach of a finish, just right into the top corner. He was isolated against whoever that is, Kilman maybe? Let's go with Kilman. Does a little drag back, good finish, right into the top corner. Jose Sar with no chance at all there. We then made it 2-1, this time it was Jimenez setting up Pedro Neto to make it 2-1. Good run, uh, I think it's this for you maybe, you can see there from uh, Michael Elise, he makes a good darting run into the box which takes the left back away from Pedro Neto, who has all the room in the world to put a shot straight at Emi Martinez apparently, who palms it into the side netting for 2-1. All downhill from there, it was again Anwar al Ghazi this time against uh, William Saliba, he just sort of kept him on his shoulder a little bit after he made that run to get himself a little bit of room and then finishes with a lot of power at the near post. Jose Sar possibly could do better but also with the power on it you can probably probably understand that he, uh, he beat him with that one and he gives us the, the Ronaldo celebration back. Then Jacob Ramsey gave them the lead, played a nice little 1-2 on the edge of the box there with Danny Ings before firing again in at the near post, a bit of a theme on this game I guess. He sort of put his leg through Johnny's there, it was a bit, a bit bizarre. Uh, but that made it 3-2 and Stevie's men ahead. Then at the death, Ings hit the post, then we thought we were closing down Leon Bailey, but Leon Bailey found Ings who was open again, just near the penalty spot, ready to pass it into an empty net with William Saliba stood there like a statue for some reason. And there goes our 100% record. Then in another Midlands affair, it was Roth Barkley getting us underway almost with an absolute stunner of a strike, which unfortunately hit the inside of the post and Poacher Poulsen was there to hammer in the rebound, giving Etheridge no chance of getting back there. You'd have to be pretty mad about uh, Ross Barkley's not going in, to be honest. Poulsen then gave us a 2-0 lead, he muscled off the smallest bloke on the pitch, whoever that is, to give us the 2-0 lead just before the halftime break. Powering a left-footed strike across Heatheridge into the far, side netting sort of. Not too much of a chance there for the goalkeeper. Then in the dying minutes, Vinagra put through Fabio Silva who had come on for Poulsen. So three goals for strikers, I guess. But you can see that the run there from O'Neill drew away the centre back from where Fabio Silva was running into to give him a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, who which he duly obliged with. And that progresses us in the cup. So those two fixtures leave us here. We are still ahead by three points in the league. We are no longer undefeated, leaving just Liverpool. It's the only undefeated side so far, nine games in. We also progressed, obviously, in the Carabao Cup, or the League Cup, and we are yet to be drawn against our next opponent, so I, I guess that'll come up sometime in the next couple of months, um, and hopefully we can then progress into the, the two-legged semis uh, in January. Now, as we shape up for this game against Arsenal, you might be looking at the top eight there. Obviously, it's a bit weird, but also understandable with the, the money coming in for Newcastle to be up there. Also weird for West Brom to be up there, but there seems like there's someone missing from that, doesn't there? Let's have a look. Yep. So, Arsenal, who gave us so much grief last year, 
they're presently in, in 19th. They've got seven points out of nine games, six losses, and only one point ahead of them is Spurs, and one point then again is Everton, which going on this season in reality isn't too surprising, but pretty bizarre to see, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess that that's not going to be an accurate ref reflection of how this game is going to go today. So the lineups then for this one away at the Emirates Stadium between first and second last, for our Wolves, we will have Jose Sarr, Samedo Cody, Kilman, Eight Nuri. Midfield of Dendonka Neves and Michael Alise, who now has five goals in seven appearances in the league, or something around that mark. Uh, it's been a rather impressive start for him, uh, and he is there in behind the front line of Saar, Jimenez, and Pedro Neto. The lineup then for Arsenal is Burn Leno and goals, a backline of Cedric, Correa, Rob Holding, and Mavra Mavrapanos? Mavrapanos? Man. Me and these sort of Central European nations, like you saw in the uh, previous video against Sparta, it's just not good. It's not a good combo. Um, I think from memory he's on loan at Stuttgart, but that could just be another Greek person that I'm confusing him with, and that's horrible. As for their midfield, it is Gwendouzi and Party in the middle, wide men of Bellarabi on the right and Redmond on the left, and Martin Odegaard in behind Mauro Icardi. So no sign of the elite Lacazette. No sign of Bukayo Saka or Martinelli, but hopefully that means that we're on the road to success and on the road to a bit more uh, more of a comfortable performance here at the Emirates. Let's see how we go. So as the players walk out here onto Emirates Stadium, I'll just remind you to please leave a like down below. Comment what you're thinking of the video, what you thought of the, the wonderful almost goal from Ross Barkley. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here, if you're enjoying the series, uh, if you're enjoying the video. Uh, and the social medias are all down in the description below as well if you'd like to follow us there. And we are underway here at the Emirates. Just a lightning start. All right, that's because we were passing it back and forth. But hopefully, I mean, the game against Aston Villa was just an absolute nightmare because I don't know what it was about their midfield. It, they had uh, Emi Bandia playing as a, uh, a holding mid and he was just, oh God, this isn't a good start, is it? Oh, did we just escape from that one? Uh, yeah, they had... Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, they had Emi Buendia playing as the holding mid. And he was... It, there was no point in pressing them as they were playing out because he just got around everything. And we had no chance. See what we can do on the counter. Hopefully, like, the, the game against Aston Villa ended up being just, like, a really open contest. And I just want to avoid that, really. But... Early signs, where... Oh, I mean, we were looking like we were doing well there. Then we've lost it. That's alright. As long as Kal uh, uh, Karim Bellarabi, if I can talk, doesn't sprint around us. He's sort of a prerequisite for this, you know, recording videos sort of thing, is like to be able to talk. A little bit important. Early on here, though, I'm very content if they want to play... Oh, God. Well... If they want to play that sort of game where they're just put a passing around their midfield and I'm able to set myself a bit and not be, you know, chasing them through, I guess. Ah, horrible. Oh, what? Oh, man. That was almost, almost a repeat of that famous goal from, uh, from Dendonka. This time on his left foot. Gives one a hit. Burn Leno goes flying towards the top corner, palming that one out for a uh, for a corner there. Why do I have three players standing right outside the box? How do I? It's gonna. All right, we're gonna fling it in. Whatever. Straight at the keeper. That's good. That'll do. That's a good start. Ismail Assar's done a lot of running backwards so far. It's not great. I mean, as long as Eight Nuri does as much running forward as he isn't doing the that hurt my head. As long as he runs as much forward as he isn't doing backwards, doesn't matter, don't worry. Raul Jimenez has got us a win. Don't care about what I was talking about. I just said a win, a goal. It's 1-0, that's the point. It was Dendonka playing in a bit of a playmaker role there, giving it in to Jimenez with Rob holding on his back. Perhaps not the strongest defensive unit, and that might point to will give some sort of uh, indication as to why they are down in 19th at the moment. And what is that, 20 minutes in? 20, 23 minutes in? It's 1-0 thanks to Raul Jimenez. 
we are top of the league. I said, we are top of the league. It's quite a feeling, like especially going back to, I mean, not this time necessarily, but, uh, you know, the this, this start we had to last year with, uh oh, oh, good save. Uh, the start we had to last year, it was a bit up and down to start with, and then the, the sort of final third, maybe, let's go with the final third of the season. Uh, we just really turned it up. Uh, well, here's Neves with a go. Oh, another good save from Leno. He's, i got to stop aiming sort of to his right and up because he's got that on lock. Absolutely nailing it. Great stretching, diving save. Out for another corner. See what we can do from this one. Hopefully not get it caught by Leno, but I mean, that was hardly better now, is it? But we've got the second ball. Not really any options in the box, though. That was the problem there, I thought. Oh, that was an option, though. And they've played it out for a corner. Cool. All right. I'm fine with that. I don't know why everyone sprints out of the box. Just, like, straight away. As soon as... Oh, there's a... I hit volley then. I pressed B for him to volley that. And he, like, chested it way too far ahead of him. What the heck? That was bizarre. Well, gwenduzi has gone all the way back to his keeper. Hopefully he can keep... Oh, I was going to say keep pressure on, but not quite. Oh, Thomas Party must be the strongest bloke in the world. Oh, and Jimenez, no. Oh, Jimenez was just about in then. Perhaps the pass just a little too strong for him. Now, uh, Nathan Redmond and his speed is, is taking us the other way. Perhaps the most uh, dangerous looking counter-attack they've had. And it's just... The amount of times they should just cross the bloody ball and instead they try to run at our players and or okay I'm gonna eat my words here but they just try to run at our players and that happens see it's just just cross the ball Nathan it's fine mate don't worry about it like it's been drummed into them too much about their low crossing accuracy but they just they just try to dribble it into us every time you can also see that uh, Maru Cardi's wearing the number 9, which I think Lacazette would wear, or would be wearing. So, oh! Oh, I thought that had fallen at the feet of Jimenez. Uh, so maybe that means that... Oh, that was bizarre. Maybe that means that Lacazette's moved on, and that's just great news for us. Oh, Dendonka's fired one into Jimenez. No, can't really turn around his man that time. Oh, and they're going to counter as we get into added time here. The end of the first half. Oh, here we go. Here's their first attack. Are they going to get a shot? They will now, maybe. Oh, here we go. There it is. Oh, wow. It shouldn't be, but it is. Half time at 1-0. Somehow they got that opening, and I'm not sure how Mario Cardi's put that wide. Second half underway here. 1-0 lead. Arsenal rather toothless up until the last sort of, I guess, last play just about of the, the first half with uh, with that chance for Riccardi. But they are on the front foot early here and they've got a corner. Keepers, surely. Yes, thank you. And we will turn the other way. See what we can produce. A uh, terrible pass for Max Kilman, who's running through for some reason. That's good. That's who we want just there, isn't it? I have a lot of trouble seeing with this sort of pitch. I think I might need glasses as Icardi's through. No mistake this time. One all. Strong, low hard finish across Jose Sar into the bottom corner. He is absolutely tatted out, isn't he? I don't know if anybody plays uh, NBA 2K, but he's like you've just you've bought a whole lot of VC and you spend it all on tattoos, you know. But it was uh, a good little interplay there from Gwenduzi to Odegaard playing in uh, Maru Cardi, making it one all. Just as I was talking about how I can't see on this pitch, so I'm going to claim that as why they've got that one. Anyway, it's, it's something about this. Like the the brightness of of the the pitch next to the the non brightness of the the shadowed area. 
I'm not, I'm not sure really, but I am sure that Elise is on the ball and having a go. Oh, good effort, good effort. We'll win one, another corner there. Definitely testing Leno from range. Nothing really from a corner as yet, but no, that's not a chance either. And that's a terrible volley. That's good. Cool. Definitely hasn't been the uh, the rip roaring, uh, fast paced, incredibly hard to stop Arsenal that I played last season. But at the same time, I haven't been, you know, at oh, that was almost Edison like against Liverpool the other day. Uh, it hasn't been, you know, a comfortable, easy display either. So, got to be. You know what we've got to be? I've, I've got to be on the ball. Ha <laughs> ha. We are on the ball here though. It's Neto giving it across to Dendonka. Target Ismail Assar, who's done not much today, and he's giving it away there. That's good. Good fella. Oh, we've won it early there though. That's good. That is actually good. Oh, but Assar's giving it away. Yeah, righto. Righto. All right, Ismaila. I don't know about Ismaila, but he's, he's definitely phoning it in, isn't he? Maybe Arsenal's his favourite team, so he's going a bit easy. Speaking of going easy, can Nathan Redmond just frickin' pass the ball? Oh, that's not good. I think it would make football a lot easier if Nathan Redmond passed the ball. Because then they'd actually get opportunities more often. They did forge one this time after they managed to pry the ball away from Nathan Redmond. And it was the knee of Jose Sarr saving the day there. Oh, they have just brought off uh, Nathan Redmond. So maybe they heeded uh, my criticisms. But on the counter from the corner here, Pedro Neto's gotten very open. And he's missed two brilliant opportunities. Yeah. All right. I think I know where this one's going. And I don't think we're taking three points back to Wolverhampton somehow. Just uh, if I were to hazard a guess. Oh, but we might, with another chance here for uh, Pedro Neto. No, again. This time, I, that was possibly, I'll take some blame for that one. It was, uh, I was trying to cut it in onto his better left foot there and just didn't quite get the, I don't know, angle of cutting it across right. I don't, I don't know. And now we're up against it. And Smith Rowe, who's replaced uh, Nathan Redmond, has got the ball up forward here. Oh man, I'd really like the ball out of our box here. We almost won it. Oh, that's... I was like... I was about to say that's 2-1. But Bellarabi closed down very well by Jose Sar making himself big. That's the spirit. Good on you, son. Second half has been sort of night and day, a bit like this pitch. Arsenal in the first half, very uh, almost pedestrian or, you know, behind the eight ball. Um, and then this second half, they have been outstanding. Unlike Ismail Assar, though he does win a throw in, so he's got that going for him. And he's given it early to uh, Neves, who gives it away. This is one of those games, isn't it? It's not, I'm not going to claim scripting, but I'm going to claim that FIFA doesn't want my players to play well. Oh, good effort. Another save from Burn Leno there. 81 minutes in now. This is getting down to it. Fling in the corner. Nothing from it. Again. But we've won the second ball, and Dendonka can maybe find a bit of room... No, he can pass it back. Oh, where's Aitnuri running? Where's he running? Why would he be running through there? I didn't tell him to. He just decided that on his own. And now Smith throws running the other way with it. Man, I tried to just lay it back for Aitnuri to to swing the ball in. Because he would have had the, the space to do that. But instead he, he ran it at the defender. Oh, it ran just nowhere. Oh, and that pass is nothing. This has been horrible. And is this where they grab it? It's Odegaard in the box. Saved by Saar. 
Oh dear. Corner to defend. 89th minute. Ismail Assar wins the first ball. Will he do something finally in this game? Jeez, Mav Mavropanos is quick. Holy bloody hell, look at that. See him catch up to Ismail Assar, who's meant to be like one of the quicker players in the game. Although Sars played in... No, hasn't played in anyone. Because Arsenal are the best defensive side in the world. One-on-one, -on -one, anyway. Alright, we might have an... A late chance here. Elise, no. Blocked. Of course it's blocked. Elise can fire it across the box though, and it's cleared. Man, this Arsenal display. Incredible. That is. I've got the fire in my belly now. That is egregious. Getting the scoring underway was Raul Jimenez. He turned Rob Holding quite easily there, firing it then across Burn Leno who had an absolutely stellar game, series of stunning saves, mostly from shots from outside the box, because Arsenal's defending is apparently just beyond elite. I think since that bit where I called them not so good and said that might be why they're bad. Then 52 minutes on the clock, a little bit of interplay involving Icardi, Gwenduzi, Odegaard, back to uh, Icardi rather, who took one touch, set himself, Low, hard drive, down past Jose Sarr, and the following 40 minute minutes was absolute garbage, and that's how that one will finish, bugger it. So a disappointing result there, and a continuation of the earliest bottle job the Premier League's ever seen, having won our first eight, and we've now dropped five points for our next two games. So just the two point lead at the top of the league. Liverpool have had another draw, so Manchester City are ahead of them in the league, Bit of a logjam starting there between the two Manchester clubs, Liverpool and ourselves. Hopefully by the next time you are here, we have uh, got back to a bit of form. You see on the right-hand side, we've got Leeds uh, in the league. Before that, we play Sparta Pra in the Champions League. And then after Leeds, we've got uh, Bournemouth in the league. Then after Bournemouth, we have got Real Madrid in the Champions League. That will be our next video. And again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like down below. Comment what you thought of the video. How rubbish FIFA might be if you're of a certain opinion potentially having watched that and not enjoyed Arsenal's display. Subscribe if you did enjoy this video. If you'd like to see us play against Real Madrid next time around. There's also the social medias down in the description. Including Twitch where we might be streaming sometime soon hopefully. And until next time, when we go again to try and cement our route through the Champions League. Peace.